So on this ridiculously cold 19 degree day, we're gonna be putting in the Weston winch tray and the X-Bull 13,000 pound winch. It's so cold it's hard to even talk. So uh, we're gonna be putting it on my 2017 Ram 2500 mega cab with the Cummins diesel. And uh, it's, it's really simple and straightforward. Right here we have the Weston winch tray uh, with the mounting brackets. And then we have the X-Bull 13,000 pound winch and the hardware that comes with it. And uh, for the uh, winch tray, it's very simple. There's four bolts right inside here. You take these off, take these four bolts off here, and then it takes your, uh, your tow hooks off. And you cannot reuse these. You have to buy uh, Weston ones if you want to put uh, tow hooks back on, which I do have. And then you just mount the four bolts back on, slide your winch tray on there, and uh, it's a done deal. And then you just mount the, the winch on, run the uh, power cables, and uh, you're good to go. The x winch is um, a fairly budget-friendly winch. It's only about $350, $360 compared to a worn winch of about $1,300 to $1,400. And <clears throat> there's a lot of controversy over people saying, well, it's gonna fail on you, that's crap. It's built in China. Uh, just buy, spend the money and get a worn winch. And uh, you only have to do it one time. And I don't know, I mean, I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna test this out and see how it works. And it's an Australian-based company. I, I believe the product is made in China. It, it doesn't really, it's hard to, to, to say, it doesn't specify. They claim to be an Australian company, which they probably are based out of Australia. And now they came to the United States. Um, I contacted their customer service and asked, hey, if I have a problem, you know, um, do you send replacement parts? Do you, you know, how's your warranty work? And they, re they replied back within 10 minutes uh, on Facebook, because they use Facebook Messenger. They also do email as well. And they said, no, within the year, if there's a problem, you send us a pictures or video, and we'll just send you the replacement parts, or if the whole thing needs to be replaced, we'll just send you the whole thing uh, and replace the whole thing within that one year warranty. So um, they're quick to get back to me. Uh, they say that they'll replace anything that breaks, and so we're gonna put this on and uh, run it to through a series of tests and uh, everything I've seen, there's not a whole lot of information on them, but everything I have found has been positive. I haven't really found anything negative. There was one post uh, on YouTube, one 16 second clip with nothing on it. Uh, the guy didn't explain anything, he didn't put anything in the description and he was hitting the button and it was going in and he was hitting the button to go in again and it was going out. And so there was something going on. So I don't know if the rope was caught up in there or what was happening, but everything else I've found has been positive. So it appears to be an 18 mil. 17 was just too small. So the next step is gonna to be to put these brackets on. And when you put the brackets on, uh, the side that is closed will face the inside of the vehicle, and the side that's open will face the outside of the vehicle. Uh, don't make the mistake and just look at the pictures like I did and reverse them because when the pictures show them laid out, getting ready to be put on the vehicle, they show them in this fashion with this portion to the outside of the vehicle. That's not the case, they go to the inside. Now we're ready to put the tray on. Again, you just line it up through the holes. On either side. There's two bolts that go in that way, and then there's two bolts that go in from the bottom. And now here's a closer look at all the hardware loosely put on. So there's two that go down in there, and then there are the uh, bolts that I use, the factory bolts. And there's two that goes in here. And then again, two down there. And the factory bolts are in there. So now I've got everything uh, 
on here, what I'm gonna do now, the next step is basically tighten these head down here and, up and on the side. And then once I do that, I'll make sure that everything's lined properly and then I'll tighten the ones to the frame. So tightening down the, uh, the factory bolts um, back onto the frame, the inside bottom, so the outside is not going to be a problem because you can get to it from underneath. Uh, the inside, normally you can stick your hand in here, well this is not very far, wide gap right here. You can get your hand in there. So for the bottom one, I was able to get my hand up in there and put a wrench on it and then come back and tighten it. But for the top one, what I had to do is I have a 12 inch extension um, with a U-joint onto the 17 millimeter bolt. I have it setting right here and then you're going to need a flashlight so you can see up in there. And then you're going to take your 17 millimeter wrench. You're going to have to hold it up in there and then hit this trigger simultaneously. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, if you had another person it would be a lot easier but if you do it by yourself this is the only way I found. So I finally got it on but I had to get the help of my wife. There was just no way that I could hold in the back and also uh, ratchet up front so or use the impact up front. Um, I tried and tried and tried and I just had to get my wife to finally help me which was uh, so if you do this you're gonna have to have at least someone help you unless you have extra extra long arms and can get around there and hold a wrench uh, or possibly if you could get a long cheater bar and get it to stay on there and hold the cheater bar and come around at the same time and do and hold the, the impact wrench I did damage this some but again it's not I mean it's just it's just the powder coat came off if it was that big of a deal I could touch it up with paint so we got the winch I uh, just set it in place here and then it's got on this winch here Underneath here, it's got a place where you put the the washer in, or the nut in, and then you'll drill it in from the bottom so it holds it for you. There you go. The nice thing about having the winch plate on the outside of your truck like this is that when you mount it, it's easy to mount uh, versus if it's tucked up inside a bumper, it's a pain to get to. Uh, one thing that I didn't do yet also was the uh, spare lead here and uh, probably should have done this first, but I think we'll be all right. There we go. Now I do have the outers to put on here. The uh, shackles. And of course the hook. Just goes right on like this. And the cotter pin that goes through here. So the uh, shackles and the bar comes separately. And I can see the bar coming separately. But really, I think the shackles should come with this uh, Weston winch tray. Uh, it's just, uh, I don't know. I, it just makes sense that it should come with it. I mean, it's a way for them to make money to charge a little extra here and there. But. Okay, there's one shackle. Did they seriously only send me one shackle? I ordered these and I thought it was a set of two, but apparently they're so cheap that it's only one shackle at a time you order. That is, that is just ridiculous. 
that is stupidly ridiculous. <laughs> um, well, so for now we'll put one shackle on, better than having none, and uh, we'll have to order the second shackle. They're saying that the hardware goes from the bottom up in here, and then obviously we'll have a washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. And they give you an Allen key. Let's see what size this is. It is an 18. So that works out. I still can't believe that they just sent one shackle. I guess I should have checked the box. Because I just now opened it, so. Oh well. Well now you know if you watch this far. So next we'll do wiring and uh, test it out and make sure it uh, runs right. Alright so to wire this, take the box, you put the box on and then it's just got uh, Phillips head screws back here and I'll show you again. So you just take the box and it's got, this goes around the uh, bar here and then it clamps on the back. And then you've got three wires that run to the solenoids here, or from the solenoids. And so yellow, red, and black. This is yellow, this is red, and this is uh, black colored there. So you just basically, and they come with the covers. You're gonna take these off, and you're gonna put yellow to yellow, red to red, and black to black. And then you run this to, uh, to power. Oh, I went back and looked and there is a ground wire right here so but you also you get two of the uh, wireless remotes on and then out and in and then you turn it off Then you also get a wired remote in case your wireless goes down or you don't have them or you just prefer wired thin black cable A connecting to bottom terminal A of the motor oh well, that goes down here I should have put that on. Okay, I did not know that was. I'm glad I read the instructions. I thought it was just a grounding cable, but it goes down here on the bottom, up underneath. Long rear cable positive goes to the, so. So both this grounding portion here. There's one, and I wish I'd have. This is why you read instructions before you did it. There's one. Uh, if I can get it off, nut underneath in the very bottom, which won't be a big deal. I can get to it, but you just take it off. And then that's where the grounding cable goes. All right, got it on there. So, moral of the story is put this on before you mount the winch. We need to put these on. So, black. Put this underneath everything. So this will do yellow first since it's be covered by black and there you go so we've hooked yellow to yellow black to back red to red the uh, negatives down here underneath and uh, yeah I think we're good on this end we just have to hook negative up to the battery and the positive up to the battery and we will be good to go so the last part of this is uh, running the power and so I routed the positive and negative cables up behind my uh, grill here, around here and in and under and then to a ground point on the frame of the vehicle and then to the hot. So it should be working so uh, let's grab one of the remotes and give it a try. So this is one of the uh, wireless remotes that comes with it. It just has the power button on the side, hit the power button, and the light lights up on the top. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then you just hit out. We are engaged. Whoop, that was in. I hit in, not out, so it is working right. And then out. In. So, there we go. The winch uh, 
works just fine. The only thing I have left to do is to get these um, protectants, protecting sections over uh, these terminals here. So just so you can see here, I ran it up through the grill, and uh, I don't know if I can get down in there or not where you can see. And then I ran it around and under and back in through here. And it comes out. And then right here, I ran it to this point right here for the uh, ground. And then for the hot, I ran it to this point here. All this other stuff you see attached on that hot came from the factory except for this wire here. And this wire here just goes to my ham radios and my CB radio. Which I'm going to be replacing that with a thicker 14 gauge wire. That's an 18 gauge wire. Um, you can run 18 gauge wire for your radio comm system, but really 14 and gauge is, is really kind of the better, more preferred. And I just got some 14 gauge in. Um, the next thing is gonna be the S-Pod, and the S-Pods are gonna go right on top of my box here. And it'll run uh, the lights that I get. I have the bull bar that comes over the top of this. And then once I get that, I'll and then I'm gonna order another one of these uh, shackles, shackle points here. I just I can't believe that when I ordered it, it didn't come with two, it just came with one. But, I mean, at least that's all I need for now. And uh, I'll put the light in the front, and I'll put a light in the rear, and we'll be good. Also, I'm going to have a um, another video coming out soon talking about uh, the upgraded uh, Bilstein leveling coils that I got, replacement coils, and then the Bilstein 5100 series shocks. And... Um, compare that to how that compares to my uh, rough country coil space kit that I had uh, on previous to this and so um, there are some differences um, but I'm gonna go over the pros and the cons of both so stay tuned and thanks for watching